engineers have looked to nature for inspiration for as long as engineering has existed. And at the University of Kentucky, Bruce Hines continues that tradition. Inspiration comes from nature. Now, if you look at how a protein channel works, it can selectively pick one very complicated molecule and pump it through the middle of that protein channel across the cell wall. It's thousands of times faster than anything man has ever made. In January 2012, research journal Nature Nanotechnology featured Heinz's nanoscale ion pumps that rival nature's speed. Charged molecules called ions can very efficiently pump fluids through nanotubes, like pistons in an engine. We found the fluid flow through the cores of the nanotubes was about 10,000 times faster than a conventional material. These nanotubes, you can induce a fast fluid flow. The ion will make the water go fast, which will make the ions go faster. We found a way to get the size of the nanotubes very uniform so that we could really see this efficient pumping effect. Now we're working at the different types of chemistry you can put at the entrance to act as the gatekeeper to grab a molecule of choice and pump it through. So the beauty here is we can have very long nanotubes, but really only focus our chemistry at the tips of the nanotube, and that's where all the action happens. These nanopumps could soon be used to capture energy, purify water, and treat nicotine addiction. Heinz's prototype nicotine skin patch, sponsored by NIH, earned him the prestigious presidential award for early career scientists and engineers in 2008. Normally we have a passive skin patch for nicotine where you just get one dosing. Uh, with this smart skin patch, you could use small voltages to turn it on and off so you could have a slow background of nicotine therapy. And then when you know you're going to have a craving for a smoke, then you turn on the patch a few hours beforehand and get a higher dose. You can have these little prototypes that can actually operate on a, a watch battery and usually have Bluetooth communication device a smartphone with a program on it is where you fill out a survey what time of day do you smoke basically and we can turn on and off this device. The patch isn't that effective when you look at the percent of smokers that quit. It's on the order of 10 to 20 percent. It's been proven that psychological counseling improves the therapies over the phone or over the internet counseling or you can do something more automated on, uh, on the smartphone itself. And in many ways, I consider addiction treatment kind of a grand challenge of drug delivery because it is so complicated. You've got the changing neurological chemical paths, so there's very important neurochemistry going on. But then you also have the psychological cues. Hopefully this device can kind of link those two worlds together um, in terms of addiction treatment. Heinz credits the Center for Nanoscale Science and Engineering with drawing him to UK 10 years ago. As a scientist, you have these wild ideas, but you're always welcome to write a proposal, but if the equipment's not around, you'll never get funded. You pretty much have to show the experiment's going to work before you'll get the funding. And so I saw it as an opportunity that I can try great new ideas. Mm -hmm.